please subscribe to our channel, Pacific Front Untold, and be sure to leave a comment after watching a video. In the annals of Japanese history, few figures have played a pivotal role in shaping the trajectory of the nation, such as Ito Hirobumi. Born into a modest samurai family in 1841, in what is now Yamaguchi Prefecture, Ito's journey from a young student secretly studying abroad to become Japan's first prime minister is a testament to both his extraordinary vision and the transformative era of the Meiji Restoration. Ito Hirobumi's monumental contributions to Japan's modernization and how his leadership helped set the stage for Japan to emerge as an empire on the global stage cannot be understated. Ito's formative years were marked by a secret mission to England as part of the Chosu Five to study Western technology and governance. This experience was foundational, exposing him to industrialization, modern governance, and military advancements, which he later sought to replicate in Japan. His conviction that Japan must adopt Western methods to resist colonization and assert its sovereignty became a guiding principle for the Meiji government. Ito's most enduring legacy is his role in drafting the Meiji Constitution, which laid the groundwork for Japan's modern state apparatus. Inspired by his study of Western legal systems, particularly the Prussian model, Ito envisioned a constitutional monarchy that balanced the emperor's sovereignty with a bicameral legislature. The Meiji Constitution of 1889, with its blend of autocracy and democracy, was instrumental in centralizing power and establishing a governance framework that facilitated Japan's aggressive expansionist policies in the decades to follow. Under Ito's stewardship, Japan underwent sweeping economic and social reforms. His policies aimed at industrializing the economy, modernizing the military, and reforming the education system were critical in transforming Japan into a formidable imperial power. By fostering a strong industrial base and a modern army, Ito ensured that Japan would not only resist Western imperialism, but also become an imperialist force in its own right. Ito's foreign policy was marked by a clear imperialist vision. His involvement in Korea, culminating in his appointment as the first resident general of Korea, showcased his expansionist ambitions. Ito's policies in Korea, aimed at gradually asserting Japanese control, reflected a broader strategy of extending Japan's influence across Asia. His efforts laid the groundwork for the eventual annexation of Korea in 1910, a move that signaled Japan's arrival as an imperial power. Ito Hirobumi's assassination in 1909 by a Korean nationalist underscored the controversial nature of his legacy. In Japan, he is celebrated as a visionary leader who modernized the nation and set it on the path to becoming an empire. However, his policies, particularly in Korea, have been criticized for their imperialist underpinnings and the subsequent suffering they caused. In conclusion, Ito Hirobumi's impact on Japan's development cannot be overstated. His vision for a modern, industrialized Japan, capable of standing shoulder to shoulder with the world's leading powers, was revolutionary. By establishing a strong central government, fostering economic growth, and pursuing aggressive foreign policies, Ito set Japan on a course toward imperialism. While his legacy is complex, his role as the architect of Japan's imperial dawn remains an indelible part of the country's history.